Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 10.15 in Honolulu, 4.15 in New York on Wednesday, May the 4th. 2016 and this is the daily report for gold and silver we have a continuation of yesterday's sell-off in the market with gold trading off again today off the lows lows 1273.60 currently trading at 1281.40 putting it off about ten dollars on the day with a high of 1291 when we look at silver, silver is also trading lower on the day, 1735, low on the day, 1718, and a high of 1747. So traders, I want to start today's show off by looking at our daily chart. We have absolutely seen this market find some real resistance after hitting that intraday high above 13 1306 we have to carry it back quite some time but we do have a matching top that comes in roughly in that area so the key right now is that if we're under the assumption that we did in fact complete a compression triangle and a correction that wave two and are now in this wave three what is a logical place to find support in terms of where these lows are now we do have a long position currently in the market we are in i believe at 56 we have stops below the lows of this candle here so our stops are below a 1262 today's lows 1273 but what is really important to me is to ascertain where we should look for support in the marketplace itself and to do that we really want to create a fib based study and so I have done just that all I've done is enlarge the chart we were just looking at and I have added one basic fib retracement now I'm taking it from this low here at 1228 up to the top at 1306 and when I do that of course we get various levels of support in terms of fib based I've taken away the 23 our 38 percent retracement though comes in at 1276 and our 50% retracement comes in just under the high of this candle right here at 1267. Our stop is below 1267, and it should give you a pretty strong indication of why we're putting it there. My sense is, is that as long as we remain above this particular candle here, which is our breakout candle, of course, we should see this market find some support. I do believe that this correction is really something that was to be expected I I thought we might see a spurt right through 1300 and find a suitable level to form a base we did not so we've gotten the correction my sense is that we should be able to hold our our stop should hold I should say in place in this area we should find support in this area and then pop back up trading over uh, $1,300 per ounce and that would be based on this basic fib retracement showing us support at about 1267 50% 1276 at a 38% retracement and then lastly do want to convert our daily candlestick into a Japanese average chart we can absolutely see where our particular stop is in place in terms of support levels that we are looking for as i said 38 percent and then 50 percent at 1267 our lows have been above that particular price point and as long as that stop holds of course i think we've got the opportunity to see this market move past and beyond 1300 again should the unexpected happen we do have a stop protecting not only our equity but a small amount of profits but it's certainly not where i want to get us out on that particular trade now as far as silver goes silver still under pressure but we are starting to see a slowdown now this is our weekly chart and you can see that the lows that have come in the low today 1718 our stop is below 1707 there's no doubt there is a thinner market in terms of the volume with silver so you get wider swings in the market and we also see this as we saw our gold being in a logical place although when we look at silver if you recall we were able to match that 1306 with a 
top that existed in gold and it occurred February of 2015, the, the highest gold traded last year. When we go and look at recent activity, of course, here, the highs that it hit when gold hit its high at uh, 1306 was it around 1850 so we're still shy of that and we'll have to see if silver can catch up with gold in terms of matching the most recent highs that we saw last year in both of those markets maintain your current long position in both gold and silver maintain your current stop this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review bye-bye